Hello and welcome to this tour of SQL Ledger ERP. The purpose of this tutorial is to highlight a few of the functions of SQL Ledger and its capabilities. Looking at the interface, this is the, the, the interface by the left hand side you will see some menus. Once you click on them they will expand like AR is account receivable have POS which is account uh, uh, pay, um, point of sales and this point of sales is the where uh, staff can be deployed to do some posting quickly particularly if they have a large amount of people waiting and then we have customers as those we sell our services to we can enter their names here and then we have reports from here all of them have reports at the tail end and these reports are there for you to get more from SQL Ledger we have AP which is account um, payable and these are the menus that are here we also have vendors those we, we who sell their services to us we also have to report we have cash uh, cash is when you sell and you're about to receive payment you have uh, payments to when you buy goods from others and you are going to make payment from it that is if you buy goods on credit we have um, the vouchers payment payables etc we also have reports we have HR the human resources and we also have order that's before you buy you must place an order when you see customer also place orders for your goods this is where you go it also has reports for you to see then we have the quotation when you ask people to quote and request for quotation it also has reports here and this is the general ledger it has a very powerful report and that report enable you to go ahead and create uh, um, bring out all the transactions that have taken place so far so in a nutshell let me not go through all of them but let me just demonstrate to you let's add a customer let's add a customer when you click you will see you have option here for company and the person and what you are supposed to do is to select if it's, a, it's an individual that you are going to uh, do transaction with you, you put his name here but if he, you select a person and you see other fields will come alive if it's a limited liability company or corporate body this is where you put their names so this one we assume is a corporate body we are supposed to put a, a customer number here but I've set the system in such a way that this can be auto uh, generated let me put a name here Melafia and Sons if he has address and other information I can fill in here I will then select an account here account receivable a default account and accounts checking account which will be the bank account that we automatically uh, be available for you to make payment to and the the account receivable will be the accounts that will be available to be debited should you have any transaction on it so once we've done that this other fields here can be left for now we can now go ahead and say save once that has been done we now go in for us to to proceed you must have a service I've already created one of the service that we have once you click here you go you will see that is consultancy fees and consultancy this uh, business is consultancy and that is a fee they charge 50,000 naira uh, for each consultancy that is there so let me go ahead and uh, book you use the sales invoice and you now go to my life here the name the name has chosen I come up here automatically the invoice number will populate automatically I'll put a small description here 
I say consultancy, um, life here and sons limited. I need to also select the product that I have created. Once I click on enter, it will now default to this. This is the cost of what we are going to sell to Melafia and Sons. We'll be consulting for him. So this is the, what we are going to do. But let's assume that I, I spend uh, three days doing that consultancy work. Well, each of the days is 50,000. And once I put three there, I can click on update. And that will now result to amount that we are owe, is owing us is now 50,000. Now if he's going to pay immediately, we can put the payment details here. You can see the account has been selected automatically here. But if it's going to pay later, we now post. And that amount is now in our database. For us to see that, let's look at the report. This is the report. We can now go to trial balance. You can select the date, but I will not select because it's a small transaction. You can see account receivable is debited and consulting fee is credited, which is income. Let's look at the income statement. I can use the template here and let's see. You can see the consulting fee is 150. There are no expenses so far. So let's assume that he comes back later to pay. We will now go to cash, cash. And click on cash and say receipt I will immediately because it's the only customer you can see it has defaulted to the amount is waiting to be received but I will choose the account receivable first so that it will do the arithmetic correctly it will go and credit the account receivable and debit our uh, checking account which is will be our account let's assume that he is now paying us a hundred thousand Let's say it's paying 100,000 here. When I click update, you can see the amount here as it populated. Let's say you pay by check. This is the number I use for this check. And we put a small description here, part payment received from my life here. And once we put that, everything is looking okay so far. We can now click on post. And once we click, you can see the, that is due, the amount that is due from him has reduced. So let us go and use the reports that we have here to click on the report, click on transaction. We want to check from account receivable. Let's say we, we are talking of me last year. Me last year. Good. Once you click on it, it has now opened. But you see this amount he paid. I wanted to make some selection. So I'll come here, I'll say amount due. And I will choose the date that he paid. Here you can select any of the columns that you want to be shown in the reports. Once you've done that, you click continue. It will now display that the life here. The description was a consultancy. And if the total was 150. He paid 100,000. The balance is uh 50000 and the date that he, he paid is also stated here now let's see how that is demonstrated that is uh, recorded on the uh, our balance sheet once you click on the balance sheet it will now give you the amount you can see the checking account here has been increased while the receivables are here you can change the this you can put it this way so that i uh, use the template and use the previous year so that it will show two columns you can see the accounts are here everything is here uh, very well uh, written out you can use the report you can use sql ledger to do any business it can be deployed anywhere you can use it either as a standalone or you as a, a an intranet or you can deploy it to the cloud where you pay subscription so I hope in a nutshell this small uh, tutorial has given you a very clear understanding of what SQL Ledger can do for you.